Warning. Game contains scenes of violence and gore, sexual content, and strong language, and it is only suitable for persons 18 and over. Hey guys, it's your girl Sun from Stories Untold Till Now, and we're going to be playing The Cat Lady. Now, I know this game from an old YouTuber named Cryotic. Um, we all know what happened to him. If you don't, I highly recommend simply clicking on his channel, and everyone in the comments can easily catch you up to speed. It's a very unfortunate and disgusting situation. So, um, as some of the games that I truly enjoyed, I am replaying this for myself and for other viewers that I hope really enjoyed this game but didn't have anywhere else to watch it or anyone else they preferred to play it. So hopefully I do a good job in that aspect. So, let's get into it. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Pretty wallpaper. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly. But they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them, all I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Mm. Good old Suzanne. Susan, you must survive, dear. <laughs> I'm so excited to play this game, y'all don't understand. House in the Woods, Chapter 1. Oh, it's these keys. Okay. Up. Oh, all right. Pretty background. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. Okay. Alright, great. We're starting with the zombie apocalypse type of theme going on here. Oh my gosh. A terrible crash. Clearly. No pedestrian access. Well, we're Susan, and Susan doesn't listen to anybody. If I have to run away, I, I can't, so I'm concerned. You almost got me. Oh 
Huh. The ambulance is blocking the access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there's no exit at all. Up. Uh, come on. <sighs> Can't go any further, I know. Yep. Let's see what's inside. A dead body, perhaps. <sighs> yeah, okay. Huh? Do we really want to do making this? making that noise. <sighs> I'm hello? not controlling her. Who's Why? There? Why would you say hello? Answer me. Great. It's me, my cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? Susan. Examine. I look so calm. Turn head. <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry. It's like slapped her to the side. She has really pretty green eyes. My eyes. Just one thing I liked about myself. Even now, they still shine a little. Is that a key in her mouth? In my mouth? Let her take it with me. Okay. I hope other Susan doesn't come try to kill us. I better learn these keys quick before this game murks me. <sighs> Why would you stop? Y what am I gonna do? Examine? For what? It's destroyed. It's a nice car, though. Hmm. The hole has been boarded up with these planks. The switch underneath says emergency power switch danger. Look through. There's definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. I don't... Examine. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. Interesting. I'll go back in in a second. I don't know where you're taking me, dear. Maybe I should have turned on the machine? Mm -hmm. this place. Am I lost? <laughs> I just cut her off. <laughs> hmm. 
I would have just taken the antlers, you know what I mean? Like, that should be strong enough to help freaking cut it. Am I supposed to get the bird somewhere? Why do you keep turning around? No! Oh wait, I'm supposed to lead it. Maybe to the... To the heads. Oh! Oh! Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? Oh, this poor baby! I'm gonna need the knife though, thanks. This is the bolted door. Okay, I guess. Shoot. Alley oop, sis. I mean, that's gotta hurt for me too, you know what I'm saying? Look closer. Oh, Susan. Search pockets, yeah, absolutely. Empty, okay. Absolutely, we're taking the key. I just look like I'm sleeping. Okay, now we can move. That's just cruel to the dear man. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to examine it. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. Bruja. I have been waiting for you, my dear. Bruja, Bruja, Bruja. I knew you would turn up one fine day like this. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? Bruja. You're not God, you're not devil, um... Death, you know that's- Death? Interesting. Yes, perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. So you're one-sided. I am doom. But I'm salvation, too. So it's a blue pill, red pill type most, of thing. But adored by some, also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while. Her Keeping arms are really company. long. Always there, you know? Always there. So depression. So I was wrong. You're not deaf? No, I am not. Perhaps I am life. No, you're just a bruja. But then again, does it really matter? What is this place? What will happen next? <laughs> this one kind of intrigues me more. What will happen next? It depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. How much you want to bet? No, I'm kidding. There is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I hated that sound effect. I'm what? going to make you an offer, Ugh. Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. 
This lady's arms are really long. I mean, I know we got long arms too, but look at it. And lonely see you sure. Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lie to yourself. Okay, fine. Is she really here? Maybe this is all a dream after all. Now we can talk properly, <laughs> oh, step dear. back. Mm, I don't really know who you are. Hmm. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows? Uh, it could be your only friend. Why her head move like the that? The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Mm. Is there anyone else here? Hi. <laughs> I thought you liked being alone. It's because I don't trust you. Isn't Molly. that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I why my hair still tangled? Everything. I know what you want. But it's not here. It's gone. And it will never, ever come again I still don't really know who you are I go by many names I've never paid much notice to what the living call me but there is one name the fallen ones use when I speak to them I find it most accurate so fallen angels the queen of maggots Ew. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone. Fair I enough. guess that's me. I have no reason, please just let me go. What do you want me to do? <sighs> Anything but the other one. What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> Why are you like that? What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special, just like you, only in a slightly different way. That's not menacing at all. Oh, she just... Um, I'll do this. What makes you think I want to go back? What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, 
dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This wow. place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As harmless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You Knowledge. will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, oh. and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Somebody come now, woman. I'm a failure, why'd you choose me? Are you expecting me to kill them? Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. So I also know that you don't want to suffer. From what she's saying, I'm assuming want to cause that one of them, pain. or if not, all of them they are murderers. Hesitate. Okay. In the end, you might have no choice. Yeah, yeah. Think of it we, as we're gonna face a murder soon. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. So they're Innocent serial killers. Great. Die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel. Because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. 
It was a five hour energy. Immortality. Oh, great. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. She said no. Nah. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. It's blackmail. No, nah, I'd like the blackmail. It's blackmail. I like this. You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? <laughs> Let's go inside. Her head's gone. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Oh. Yes. It's you, Susan. Come closer. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you would endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. <laughs> what am I gonna do with the group bar? I thought you were gonna smack her, that's why I even brought it up. Alright, I guess that's my only option. Susan, it's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Don't you understand? There is no other way. Well, I don't know that. Besides, made a mistake and I'm ready to try to fix my life but I really don't like what you're saying if there's one thing I learned in life it's that people let you down all the time if I don't rely on myself I can't rely on anyone else true you fool you damned arrogant fool you have no idea what you have just done. But fine, have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. Why do you shut up? I always am. Insult her, be sarcastic, apologize. Yeah, don't laugh too hard, old woman. You might break something. <laughs> When we meet again, you will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances, so I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this 
This is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up. I'm back in the house. The candle. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. Examine. Strange, the flame seems strong, but there's no steady smoke. Oh, great. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. <gasps> no! I think that's enough for now. Okay. What the? How did I get back here? I don't think I made the wrong response at all to that old woman. I mean, how would you feel if like you were in that situation? You know what I mean? Like, do you really think you wouldn't be bitter? I think I did the right thing. <laughs> Okay, it's not creepy at all. All right, let's go. No, examine it first. All this blood around the hole. Someone hurt here. All right. Great. Where can I not go? Going, Susan, you're bleeding to death. I mean, if that was possible in your case. This poor woman looks so miserable. Alright guys, I'm going to stop here. Thank you so much for joining me for chapter one, and I'll see you for chapter two on the next one.